If you want to record the very best audio like your singing voice or instruments, you want to use a condenser microphone like this Movo VSM5 compared to a dynamic microphone. Now the pros and cons is that for a condenser mic, you do need a phantom power, but I did get myself this cheap Amazon a phantom power that plugs in your microphone from your XLR to your 3.5 jack on my laptop that I'm actually using right now so that way you could hear the audio difference. Condenser microphones are important because it could record low voices. Some of my music that I record, I do want to capture my breathing, which I did the last time with this condenser mic and you could barely hear it. But with this microphone, you could really hear the breathing sound, right? Because when you're singing, you, that breathing sound does sound pretty nice when it's part of the music. I, I kind of like it. Some don't, some would cut it out, but I do like that breathing sound just before you sing. It's a nice audio to me. And instruments that's got that low bass, like a bass guitar, piano, then you would want to use a condenser microphone. This microphone is very affordable. It's only $99 that comes with a pop filter. This pop filter is important because every time I say pop, pop, you don't hear the noise like when I say pop, 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 right? It's very, you don't want that audio. So this pop filter, is very important to have. It has a shock mount. It comes with an XLR cable. So one of the features of this microphone is that you can select from unidirectional, that's just directly in front of it. You could switch to bidirectional, which is if you're talking to somebody across the microphone, so you could capture audio in the front and the back, or it'll capture omnidirection. It'll capture 360 all around voice equally in case you guys are in like a group so you could just use one microphone if that's all you have it also has a low pass filter in case there's like fans my little light here has a fan noise right now but it doesn't capture that kind of noise it prevents it from recording that kind of noise it also has an ability to turn on negative 10 decibel in case you are recording instruments like trumpets that could be low and can be really high so it does a pretty decent job trying to maintain that audio recording I got the Amazon link on my bio. Share, follow, and subscribe.